three things that you can do every single day to help you in your walk with Christ. This is something that I shared in my speech yesterday to junior high and high school Christian students. And I know that it can apply to us as adults here on this app and in life. So let me share them. So my focus was to tell them, you know, that they are in a purpose. They are in a season of purpose right now, even as students. And three things that they could do every day to help the Holy Spirit just guide them and teach them was number one, of course, you have to start your day with prayer. You have to pray and you have to ask God to, you know, use you. How can I be used this day? What can you reveal to me? Open my heart and my mind. Help me to know your voice and listen to your voice and and, and go with it. Number two was you read your Bible. And if you can only give five minutes of reading your Bible, then do those five minutes, but do it with intention. So not just opening your Bible and be like, oh, what am I going to flip today? Let me read this verse. No, it has to be with intention. Like, so either go buy a Bible study, go buy a devotional, whatever it may be. So you know what you're reading for that day. And those five minutes that you spend in his word are, they're good. Okay. Number three was to train your mind to focus on God when any kind of emotion comes up. So when you feel happy, sad, angry, depressed, anything, like train your mind to think about God in those moments because when we start to think about God and go to God in those moments, we're inviting him into our moments. We're inviting him into everything and we are entering into his presence because really we should be going to him like, he should be our first thought, right? Like, something good happens. I should think about, like, thank you, God. Something bad happens. God, please help me through this. Whatever it may be. So, I hope these three things help you. Let me know if there's something that you do every day that has really helped you in your walk.